Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask, Heidi. It is Wednesday, the 15th day of November. Yeah, we're halfway through the month. America Recycles Day. American Enterprise Day, Day of the Imprisoned Writer, okay. Okay. I Love to Write Day, National Bunt Pan Day. Do we have a bunt pan? We do not. I was going to say, I've never seen one at our house. We National, used to, but... National Clean Out Your Refrigerator Day, uh, National Drummer Day, Pack Your Mom's Lunch Day, <laughs> okay. and Raisin Bran Cereal Day. <laughs> I like Raisin Bran. I don't know why it has its own day. <laughs> All of those things happening, and we've got a guest joining us. Patty Lynn is a writer. She was a screenwriter for many, many years with uh, TV shows like Friends and Desperate Housewives and Breaking Bad, and she... Walked away from Hollywood, said, I'm all done with all of that. And now she's got a book called End Credits Book. And we're going to chat with her, maybe chat a little bit about the strike and chat a little bit about the book and whatever we feel like talking about. We'll do that in a bit. It's more important now than ever before to have a better credit card. We would love to help at bettercreditcards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. When was the last time you tried a new restaurant? According to a new poll, most people say the answer is about five months. Choosing a place to eat is not the only situation where we stand to, tend to stick to the same old, same old. According to this, 2,000 people uh, in this survey, we're kind of boring. The average person has not found a new song they like or watched a new TV show in the last <laughs> four months. I probably fit all this of this. This is all so us. 56% of respondents say they identify as creatures of habit. 38% prefer to venture out of their comfort zone. I took Heidi to a new restaurant one time. She's like, what are we doing here? I'm like, we're going to try it. Why are we trying this? <laughs> like, We've never been here. I know. Why are we here? I'm like, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Thought it might be nice. Then it wasn't that great. She's like, I don't know why we even tried that. <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't know. Uh, so let's hear uh, 64% stick within their comfort zone. 60% say things that they're familiar with. On the other hand, those who try new things that do so satisfies your curiosity 53% of the time and helps them keep an open mind 52% of the time. I'm going to encourage you to try something new. Maybe think about it at least. Consider it. And then go back to where you usually go. (laughs) Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help you protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know that the heart may be known as the love muscle, but a new (laughs) wait wait a minute, what? (laughs) Didn't know that. But a new study found that the feeling of love is mostly not in your heart. It's it's in your head. That is true. Yeah. Alto University researchers were able to identify where in the body people feel various types of love <laughs> and intensity with which they experience the emotion. Just stop over there. I see what you're doing. They found that love forms a spectrum with some types of love felt more intensely than others. And the sensation of love tends to center in the person's head. However, some types of love were felt only in their chest, while others radiated throughout the entire body. The more intense the love, the more widespread the feeling was in their body. So there you go. I'm done with that study. We're moving on. We made it through without getting in trouble of any kind. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. Meg Ryan says her new rom-com with David Duchovny might not be for younger demographics. It's uh, two exes who are stuck together for the first time in years after they're snowed in overnight at an airport. So it's called What Happens Later. So it's I just think she is absolutely yeah. adorable. And most of the Mean Girls cast, including Lindsay Lohan and Lacey Chalbert and Amanda Seyfried, I don't know if I said any of those names right, uh, held a super 
what is it? A super fetch reunion for a Walmart commercial. Okay. I I don't know what any of that means, but <laughs> I've got a link to that if you're if you're in the know. And Five Nights at Freddy's had no trouble staying at the top of the box office. They've done very, very well. They did have a little bit of a, a drop after Halloween because Halloween opening was big and it was like a scary movie. Uh, but uh, if you're interested in that, I've not seen that one, but I've been told it's pretty good. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a intervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. X, formerly known as Twitter, will launch two new subscription tiers, according to Elon Musk. This is for people who want to have like the subscription okay. and pay for their little blue check or whatever the thing okay. is. Um, I got a message from Facebook asking, it was from Meta, actually, asking uh, if I would like to get verified. They're like, oh, hey, you qualify. Would you like to get verified? I'm like, oh, okay. And I clicked on it. And they're like, you just give us money every month and we'll let you have this check. Yeah, no thanks. There's a little blue check behind your name. And I deleted it. I said, I don't want it. Who cares? So if you go on Facebook and you see that I'm not verified, that's still me. (laughs) But I verified that I don't want to give money to Facebook. And if you're looking for a stronger password, and I mean, who hasn't, right? Try using emojis. Yeah, that's the advice from a computer screening expert or computer security expert, rather. Turns out that on a computer, emojis are considered a symbol, which means you are able to incorporate them into your passwords, making them more secure when used alongside letters and numbers. Does that seem weird to you? That does seem weird. And how do you access emojis from a regular keyboard if you're trying to type that's I don't know. Stan Kaminsky with the cybersecurity giant Kaspersky, Kaspersky, Kaspersky. I don't know. <laughs> they're so they're so uh, secretive. I don't even know how to say their name. Uh, when intruders try brute force passwords containing letters and numbers and punctuation marks, there are fewer than a hundred variations for each symbol that they need to pick. But there are more than thirty six hundred emojis. So adding one to your password forces hackers to go through about 3,700 variants per symbol. He says his passwords, uh, he goes on with passwords that are five emojis, is equivalent to a traditional password with nine characters. Seven emojis would be like using 13 regular characters. Huh. So I don't know how any of that works. All of my passwords are exactly the same. It's just (laughs) password one, two, three, four. (laughs) I mean, it's always worked. Why stop now? (laughs) What's that? I need to change my passwords. Uh, All right. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If you're looking for a new opportunity, South Dakota is calling. There's over 27,000 open jobs at this very moment. Whether you like the city life or if you're more of a fan of the rural lifestyle, South Dakota has plenty to offer. From the Black Hills and the Badlands on the west side of the state to the rolling prairies in the middle with many small towns and the city of Sioux Falls on the eastern edge, there's no state income tax in South Dakota and many job opportunities. Learn more about what's waiting for you in South Dakota at MoveToSD.com. That's MoveToSD.com. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Excited to visit right now with an amazingly talented writer. Patty Lynn is a screenwriter, and now she's also the author of a new book. It's called End Credits. How I Broke Up with Hollywood, a memoir. But listen to some of these programs she's worked on. You might have heard of a few of these. Friends, Desperate Housewives, Breaking Bad, Holy Cow, Patty Lynn. You've got some amazing (laughs) things on your resume there. (laughs) Thank you. Yes. I always have to correct people when they say a screenwriter. It's former screenwriter. Because I did leave the business. I left the business 15 years ago. And on here, it's how I broke up with Hollywood. Do you talk about why you broke up with Hollywood, too, or just how you broke up with Hollywood? It's all of that. It's, nice. all, it's, it's about my very humble beginnings as um, you know, a latchkey kid that grew up watching television and falling in love with pop culture to breaking into the business and starting to write for shows and discovering very early on that it was not what it was cracked up to be. Oh. There were 
very long hours, sometimes a toxic workplace culture, complete lack of work-life balance. This is a book that I wrote partly because when I did leave the business, people kept asking me, why would you quit such a cool job? You know, because from the outside, it does look really cool and, and glamorous. And this book is kind of the answer to that question. You know, nice. I wanted to I wanted to show a full, honest picture of what it was like to, to work at those jobs and the, the toll that it took on my mental and physical health and my relationship. I understand that because... Again, when you're doing something like this at this level, it's not just a job. That becomes your whole life, doesn't it? It's fully fully consuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very consuming. It's a lot of pressure. And, you know, and and I, you know, quite honestly did not expect that it was going to be so chaotic. Um, The way that scripts were written was often very unsatisfying, um, where uh, scripts were written by committee, you know, so like a script would be written by seven, eight different writers and each person would go off and write a scene and then you'd put them together and try to make them into a cohesive script and nobody was doing their best work that way, you know, or I would have to write a script in three days or three or four days and then I would turn it in and my boss would go, oh, actually we decided to go in a different direction. Can you write a whole new script in a day? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no. you know, so it was stuff. It was like that. It just it burns you out. I'll bet. And one of the things that I think some people maybe forget about is sometimes when you have like a new concept, you're doing a show that's different than everything else, and when it first comes out, it's a little harder for that to catch on. And it's pretty easy for Mm -hmm. the industry to just turn their back on it and not even really give it a chance. There are some shows, very famously, that were canceled, and then Mm -hmm. they came back, and they're super successful because they finally found a footing in reruns, and then they're like, okay, hey, let's let's actually do more episodes of this now. Oh, absolutely. One of the famous examples of this is Seinfeld. Like, when Seinfeld first aired, people were not into it. Like, it wasn't getting good ratings. But at the time, networks would let shows kind of stick around for a little while. And luckily they, they, they left that on and yeah. it eventually yeah. gained a, a faithful audience. And it became like one of the biggest shows in history. And my, so, I mean, if that show came around today, it would, it would, it would have been canceled you know, immediately. And one of the fun things about that for me personally, the first episode I saw of Seinfeld was the final episode because I was always working. And this is back before I had a DVR to just record it. So I watched the final episode for the first episode I've ever seen. It made no sense to me. But now I've seen it in reruns and I absolutely love it. But I was like, what is this all about? What's the, what's the big yeah. deal? Why do people like this thing? So uh, the book is out right now, and it's getting rave reviews and credits. I'm going to make sure to put a link to make it easy for folks to find. Do you have something else on the horizon for another project, or are you just going to kind of chill for a bit? Well, right now I'm just super busy with the with the book promotion. But, you know, I mean, just writing this book was such a rewarding experience, especially compared to the career that I had before, that I just really would love to write more books now. Um, and I, I don't know what the next book is going to be. You know, I don't know if it's going to be a novel or another memoir, but whatever it is, I, I just hope that, like end credits, it's going to be a story that just calls to me so strongly that I just have, I feel like I have to write it. I love that. Well, Patty, thank you so much for your time today, and thank you for telling the story that needed to be told. I'm excited to read this. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. Again, Patty Lynn has been our guest. Her book is out right now. It's called End Credits, How I Broke Up with Hollywood, a memoir. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. It's more important now than ever before to have a better credit card. We would love to help at bettercreditcards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Cats adapted to living with humans by hunting rodents in grain stores and basically domesticated themselves to get themselves inside. Well, isn't that nice? So like, oh, hey, if I eat these mice. Yeah, they'll let me stay. They'll let me stay in the house. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There is a sound effect called the Wilhelm scream. Our son loves that. Yes. <laughs> it's been used in over 400 movies and television shows since 1951. And for those of you who don't know what it sounds like, I do have a link to it in the show notes. And you've heard it 
a bunch of times. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Walt Disney's autograph bears absolutely no resemblance to the fam- famous Disney logo. A lot of people, oh. see, they'll see the Walt Disney, right. and it looks like That's somebody... That's not his, huh? It's not his handwriting. No. Huh. A lot of people think that it is, though. And our final fun fact for you, What's Heidi. What's John? On average, males spend 11.4 minutes in the shower. Females spend 13 minutes in the shower. How much time do you spend in the shower? I spend a lot of time in the shower. You, do you think it's 13 minutes? Probably pretty close. Really? Yeah. I spend like a minute and a half in the I shower. I know you do. <laughs> And I take a shower and I get back out. I'm it like, barely gets you wet. I don't the, even... the water is not even all the way warm yet. And I'm like, I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> so, no, I spend a lot clearly, longer in there. Clearly, I'm doing it wrong. Several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help you protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. When it comes to raising kids, almost one third of dads say they can't do this. What is it? I did this. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Our daughter hated it. I have no idea. (laughs) Pull a tooth. Remember the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it. Really? Two. Dads are saying they can't pull a yeah, tooth? Yeah, yeah. One third of dads cannot pull a tooth. Wow. Uh, I remember a couple of stories that have to do with pulling teeth. Our daughter, it was not, she was such a wimp when it came to that. Oh my gosh, it was right. terrible. Yeah. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Ontario SPCA registered veterinary technician Jocelyn Rutgers says that many owners of finicky pets may have found them uh, may have found them extra ornery when daylight savings time came to an end. Really? I had no idea. No. They say, like us, pets have natural circadian rhythm and internal biological clocks tuned to the cycles of light and dark. So, from their perspective, everything in their routine just changed like an hour later than usual last week they're eating later and they don't know why they still haven't fully adjusted even though cats and dogs don't have to reset clocks they have to like reset their new schedule because like we change so it says the most important thing now is that it's too late to have started adjusting their routine you should have started in small increments ahead of time and then all of a sudden it's not a big deal at all Hmm. so i thought that was kind of fascinating i just thought it was weird that Cats and dogs are even bothered by, and there's a lot of people saying we need to just make that go away everywhere. I kind of agree with that. I don't know. I don't know if it's needed anymore. Maybe it is. Who knows? It's not up to me. It's above my pay grade, Heidi. (laughs) Weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Highest earning dead celebrities. Who do you think is on the list? The highest earning dead celebrities. Marilyn Monroe. All right. Um, I don't see her on the list anyway. Elvis Presley. Uh, well, we'll we'll go through it. Number ten, Bing Crosby, and it's because this time of year, all the Bing Crosby music that right, starts coming up. Right. Number nine surprises me, Bob Marley, sixteen million. Really? Yeah, annually. John Lennon is number eight. Number six is a tie between Prince and Whitney Houston, each making thirty million dollars. Number five, slightly more uh, than thirty million, Charles Schultz, Peanuts. Uh, then uh, huh. Dr. Seuss is uh, forty million. Number four, number three, Ray Manerzak. The Doors keyboardist whose estate holds his music rights, $45 million. Wow. Uh, number two, Elvis Presley at $100 million a year. And Michael Jackson, $115 million the last year. So wow. top earning dead celebrities. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We did not make the list for two reasons. First of all, we're still alive. And second of all, we don't make anywhere near any of that. <sighs> 
The list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If you're looking for a new opportunity, South Dakota is calling. There's over 27,000 open jobs at this very moment. Whether you like the city life or if you're more of a fan of the rural lifestyle, South Dakota has plenty to offer. From the Black Hills and the Badlands on the west side of the state to the rolling prairies in the middle with many small towns and the city of Sioux Falls on the eastern edge, there's no state income tax in South Dakota and many job opportunities. Learn more about what's waiting for you in South Dakota at MoveToSD.com. That's MoveToSD.com. Time now for your quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from Noel Chatham. Noel Chatham says, I just realized that let me check... My calendar is the adult version of let me ask my mom, end quote. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much. You already know the answer is going to be no. You're like, well, let me talk to my mom. Then I can blame her. <laughs> now it's like, oh, let me check my calendar. See, oh, yeah. What was what, what that? It's Tuesday? What, what, what time? Shoot, oh, yeah. I'm not going to be able to make that. Got a doctor, dentist <laughs> uh, appointment with the mechanic. So I've got, yeah, I've got an appointment going on. Can't do it. <laughs> quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. A brave farmer rescues Britain's loneliest sheep from a remote island. I think this is kind of a cool story here. In an extraordinary display of compassion and resilience, a group of dedicated farmers embarked on a daring rescue mission to save Britain's loneliest sheep. Been stranded on a remote island for two years. Aww. Fiona's rescue mission was organized by Cammy Wilson, a sheep How shearer. How the sheep get out there? Well, let me tell you here, Heidi. Uh, they were joined by fellow farmers to help get this sheep. Uh, the group managed to lift Fiona up an incredibly steep slope the only difference between us being heroes and idiots is a slip of a foot. So, <laughs> oh yeah, the sheep, uh, like Fiona, usually get sheared midsummer. So by leaving an inch of wool on them, uh, she'll have the same cover as her new friends. So when they shaved all this fur off, they they left a little bit on her. Her okay. massive fleece will go to a wool company, Wooddale Wool, to made it made into something amazing that can be raffled off for charity. So uh, the question you asked, how did the how sheep did she get, get there? Out there? Yeah, is not in the story at all. Well, see now, that's what people want to know. <sighs> yeah, well, I don't have an answer. Here, right, let me just uh, make something up really quick. The sheep got <laughs> sheep got stranded on that island when it went there for vacation. No, I have no idea. It doesn't say at all how this uh, one lonely sheep got left on a remote island. And for how two do years. they know that the sheep was lonely? Maybe it worked so hard to get out there. And they're like, seriously, I just got here. Been trying to get away from you people for years. I finally found the best place in the world, my own island, and you took me from it. How is the sheep eating? And how is the sheep? I don't know. There's a lot of questions that didn't get answered in our good news story today. And I feel as though I owe you all an apology. So sorry. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. If you want to read that story and maybe you can find the answers, it's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com.